Have you ever wondered how art critics decode the mysteries of a masterpiece? What guides them in their quest to unravel the profundities hidden within a work of art? Well, it's a fascinating process that we're about to delve into. Art criticism is like peeling an onion layer by layer, each revealing a new dimension of the artwork. The first layer is aesthetics. Critics scrutinize the visual and sensory elements of the artwork, be it color, composition, form, or texture. They ponder how these elements harmonize to create the overall impact of the piece. Then comes the interpretation. It's like being a detective, piecing together clues to uncover the deeper meaning of the artwork. Critics consider the artist's intentions, the cultural context, the historical background, and the emotions the piece evokes. They seek to understand the symbolism woven into the fabric of the artwork. Next, critics navigate the realm of evaluation. They evaluate the artwork, expressing their opinions on its quality, significance, and impact. This is not simply about liking or disliking the artwork. It's a thoughtful analysis that may highlight both its strengths and weaknesses. A comparative analysis often follows. Critics may compare the artwork to other pieces by the same artist or to works from the same period or different genres. This creates a broader perspective, helping to place the artwork within the wider context of the art world. The societal and cultural context in which the artwork was created is another layer that critics explore. They consider how the artwork mirrors or challenges the norms, beliefs, and values of its time. This provides insights into the socio-cultural backdrop that shaped the artwork. Historical perspective is a crucial aspect of art criticism. Critics study how the artwork fits into the timeline of art history and its influence on subsequent generations of artists. This places the artwork within a historical framework, enriching our understanding of its significance. Art criticism also acknowledges the role of subjectivity and personal perspective. Each critic brings their unique viewpoint to the table, leading to diverse interpretations and evaluations. This diversity contributes to a richer appreciation of the artwork. Finally, art critics serve as communicators, sharing their insights with a wider audience. They use various platforms like written reviews, essays, lectures, and discussions to bridge the gap between artists and viewers. They stimulate dialogue, sparking debates that fuel the evolution of artistic discourse. So, the process of art criticism is a journey, a voyage through aesthetics, interpretation, evaluation, comparison, cultural context, historical perspective, subjectivity, and communication. Each step uncovers a new facet of the artwork, helping us to understand, appreciate, and engage with it more deeply. Remember, art criticism isn't about finding a definitive answer but rather about asking the right questions and fostering a thoughtful and enriching dialogue.